Flow Designer allows you to build and execute multi-step processes simply by dragging, dropping, and connecting steps. Steps can be anything from enriched data from external tools, a ticket in a service desk, or actionable notifications sent to on-call resources. In this video, let's take a quick look at the Flow Designer and how it works. You can find your available steps in the palette. There are four categories of steps. Trigger steps, which are used to start a flow. Application steps, which support two-way communication between your external tools. Tool steps, which control intelligent actions in X matters. And custom steps, which you create to perform your own logic. Some steps are organized into categories. Click the chevron to expand or collapse a category. Steps are dragged from the palette onto the canvas. The canvas is a visual interface connecting your steps together. Every form has a canvas, and the canvas can contain as many flows as you need. Drag steps around on the canvas to organize them, or use the Auto Layout button underneath the minimap to align your flows automatically. The minimap is used to help show where you are on your canvas. You can drag to move around the canvas, Use your mouse wheel or pinch to zoom in and out, as well as zoom using the plus and minus buttons underneath the minimap. Steps have ports at both ends, with the exception of triggers. Triggers initiate flow, so they only have one output port. Drag from one port to another to add a connector. Connectors allow information to flow from one step into the next, with information flowing out from the right and in from the left. Hovering over a step will show you the edit and delete icons, as well as three dots for more actions. The more actions menu will allow you to copy the step or find the originating step in the palette. The options available when you edit a step are contextual to the step, and many steps will have a sidebar allowing you to use variables. If you drag a variable into the step's options, it'll be used there. For example, if we drag the alert ID variable into the message field, this information will be added to the notification sent to our on-call resource. Constants are variables that are available to all of your flows. Constants are defined in the Components menu. The Components menu also manages your endpoints and libraries. Endpoints provide a simple way to define the URL and authentication credentials for your external tools. Here, we can see a Slack endpoint, allowing this flow to connect to a Slack instance to create new channels, post messages, or take actions in XMatters. Libraries allow you to share scripts between your users and flows, saving you time and making building integrations more accessible. The Activity button brings up the Activity Monitor. This can be used to see how our flows are working and debug any issues. Select a flow to view its activity. The Steps tab will show you the steps used during an alert and highlight them on the canvas, making it easy to see what's happening when your flows execute. The log will show you exactly what happened, saving a lot of time if your flow has failed, as it'll show you exactly what happened, removing the guesswork from your debugging. To try the XMatters Flow Designer and see the possibilities yourself, sign up for free at xmatters.com free. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know down below in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, I hope you'll consider giving it a like and subscribing. Have a great day.